Oh, that I heard that works really well. <laughs> it's the best way. Yeah. Boy, when I saw that video that you posted, you actually sent me the video after I'd already seen it. I, I, I caught it like within three minutes of you posting it. Oh, my God. I, I saw it. It just showed up on my YouTube feed. I'm like, oh, yes, here we go. And uh wasn't surprised at all. No. I mean, it's all, it seems. Bro, no one that has been inside of a gym is surprised by this. Completely makes sense, but that's exactly what I expected. Yeah, it seemed like just a matter of time for him. There's no way you can look like that no. in your 40s. That jack. I mean, he's preposterously jacked. Do we have a fucking. Uh, now that we know that he's full of shit, we're talking about the Liver King, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people are like, what are they saying? This is all inside stuff. Yeah. There's a guy, if you don't know who the, the Liver King is, the guy calls himself the Liver King, and he's this guy who uh, walks around. I'm kind of surprised Joe doesn't like him more. Around everywhere with no shirt on. I've seen him in Vegas with no shirt on. Big bushy beard, super jacked. And he was telling people that the way he gets that way is by sunning his balls. <laughs> he uh, he he literally lays down with his asshole staring at the sun and yeah. and eats raw liver and just lifts like a maniac. And uh, that's how he's so jacked. But it's preposterous. Yeah, too many polar extremes to have just like a unique marketing spin that was just highly viral, yeah. in my opinion. And I don't know. I think most people could see through it, but at the same time, he would. Like, there was a lot of big names that even reached out to me after. I'd be surprised Joe isn't on something. Joe is on something. He is. We know that he's been taking TRT, which you can say is like a much lower dose of testosterone than like actual fucking anabolic steroids. But I personally agree with Derek before Derek fucking went on the Joe Rogan experience and then backed away from the assessment that he has done HGH. Derek's original assessment was that Joe had bubble gut. Um, what is it? Like the palumboism or whatever it's called. Um, as a consequence of his fucking organs expanding from uh, taking HGH. I think Joe has at times explained that he has taken HGH, but gone back on it. Um, are you on roids is the funniest way to self-report that you have never been to a gym. My body fat percentage and muscle mass, especially for my size. I mean, I'll take the compliment. First of all, I'll just say that. Thank you for the compliment. But like, if you think someone like myself is taking steroids, then you fundamentally do not understand what steroids look like, especially considering that I have uh, been going to the gym four days a fucking week for like the past year. Nobody can tell how fat you are, fatty. I mean, there's shirtless photos of me. There was sex trafficking, drug abuse, and proof of corruption, I believe, in some included minors. He just, this man, what do you mean it was nothing? There was a lot of crap on the laptop. There was sex trafficking and drug abuse. Bro, first of all, drug abuse, dog? Yeah, he was doing crack. And no, it wasn't sex trafficking. It was him having sex with prostitutes, okay? You can try to spin it as difficultly in a, in a fucked up way as possible. But yes, me and your mom are fucking, okay? Me and your mom, fuck. Other people outside of you, I know you never get sex, but other people that are not you, fuck. And sometimes they pay for it, okay? Yes, Hunter Biden was slinging dick and smoking crack rocks, okay? No one says that that's not true. Hunter Biden was corrupt as well. He definitely was a beneficiary of nepotism. Andrew Fowler, think of the tank of the subs. No one is even arguing that that's not the case. The idea that you believe it included minors immediately betrays uh, the, the supposed objective analysis you're engaging in because there is no evidence of that. You only said that because 4chan told you, and they don't have any evidence of that either. As far as I've seen, there's only one like random dude that they claim is Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, which is not him, around like children or some shit. Like they're literally spreading actual CP unrelated to Hunter Biden, by the way. And then the other claim is that he has photos with his fucking nieces. And they always take photos with Hunter Biden surrounded by the most 35 year old looking sex workers and then they add hunter biden with his nieces into that photo compilation and it's fucking weird why do they keep saying that all of this would have changed the election didn't we know most of this we did but right wingers cannot fucking they cannot comprehend a world in which it wasn't a smoking gun because they just have penis on the mind right wingers love thinking about dicks and pussies okay straight up they love thinking about hunter biden's dick they love thinking about the genitals of teenagers they literally try to advance legislation and they have successfully advanced legislation in places like ohio through the state legislature to have penis inspection day at school i'm sorry that's just the fucking truth whether you want to admit it or not matt walsh is constantly talking about the genitalia of children okay that's all he fucking talks about it's very weird bro it is a very strange thing
You got fucking uh, uh, children's genitalia on the mind. You lost your fucking mind. You're thinking about trans people so much that you think everyone's trans and you need to inspect the children. Like, it's fucking crazy. Not as crazy as avoiding the top of the hour by subscribing, though, because that is sane. Because at the top of the hour, there is a three-minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, if you're like, oh, man, it's too long. Well, then all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Couldn't agree more, Azan. Thank you for agreeing. You can also avoid the top of the hour ad break with a gifted sub. If you get gifted a sub, if you're lucky, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break. Here's a three minute ad break now and then one minute in the middle of the hour. The video came out and they were like, you know, I didn't think he was natural, but this guy literally right to my face would say blatantly, I am natural. And like a lot of people will take a guy at its word at his word when it's like a private conversation. And if he's straight up telling you in person, yeah, it's actually legit. I'm natural. And he was just lying out through his fucking teeth, seemingly. There's some people that are really jacked that are natural. For sure. Some people that are like super, super disciplined. They, um, you know, they're taking supplements. Supplements, but all legal supplements that on it you can get it like a vitamin store and they're just like they've never gotten off the grind and the, who's that guy paul sklar did yeah. you comment on him yeah yeah he actually uh did blood work like immediately after i had talked about it one time and it checked out yeah he looks like what's possible yeah like i if you don't know who that guy is he's super jacked and he's 50 years old but when i'm looking at him Woo! i'm not getting any like steroids god damn god damn bro what the fuck yo look at the fucking striations man are you fucking kidding me holy shit that is insanity brother 54 54 god damn bro i'm i'm sorry dude i'm fucking horned up right now i, I apologize chatters hey, look at that real quick while i open the door curtis town and, and uh, danny gonzalez are in the building i just need to finish eating food real quick <clears throat> and then i'll have them over that guy's this guy's also 54 bro this dude is this dude's awesome he is literally he is body goals i wish to be him one day I will never be him, but respect, dude. So much respect for this man. Holy fuck. Absolute fucking bananas, dude. What a fucking legend. He definitely does roids. Um, Look at his abs. Usually it's a good telltale sign when someone is doing steroids because especially the kinds of steroids that you're doing. He does. Do you think he would die if he had a carb? No, as a matter of fact, it, it, it's more likely. It's more likely that he would fucking... No, he's a genetic freak dude steroidy vibes i'm getting a really fit guy who works out really hard and has probably been doing it for 30 years yeah that's that's what i get when i look at that guy that's all feasible and possible now i don't think please. that's feasible and possible i think you need to if you're not doing steroids then you need to be the most like genetic freakazoid on the fucking planet they just said he did blood work that checked out he's natty okay dude what do you mean you can literally get fucking what yeah just like fucking fo college football players are natty you know what i mean like what are you crazy please go to the liver king <laughs> please show me some preposterous liver king physics that photo was actually a good indication that he most likely is not on steroids, though, because this right here, like, look, look at how fucking torqued. Even when he's like at his most torqued, his his chest peak is so tiny. I feel like if he was if he was on juice, if he was on gear, he would literally have like um, if he was on gear, he would fucking have uh, a, an absolutely insane um, pectoral definition. That's just muscle imbalances. I mean, I don't know, man. Traps are usually the main sign. They look pretty normal. Don't forget he probably is cutting fat when he makes these videos and could be dehydrated. Brother, every video that he has done, he's dehydrated. Look at his... You think you can achieve that level of vascularity without being dehydrated? This man hasn't seen water in years, okay? I'll tell you what. There's never a moment when he's not dehydrated, okay? This dude has never drank water, bro. Look at his fucking... He has calf striations. Show me some preposterous liver king physiology. Oh, he has a... Have you seen his apology? No, I haven't. Oh, I want to watch it. He comes clean on steroids. You, I fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys are able to watch. I just want to see the... his images, though. I want to see some images okay. of his body because his body is just so off the charts, ridiculously massive. That's okay, but that's there's, like there's... unflattering lighting. Without yeah. A, yeah. I want to I want to show some of him like jacked and lifting because he's just fucking gigantic.
So he did cover the. Joe's seen a lot of shirtless dudes, bro. This is why I always say, if you work out a lot, you're gay as fuck. And yes, that includes myself as well. Yes, people, people who like working out, people who go to the gym are fruity as fuck. Okay, the entire concept revolves around miring. Half the time, when you see a ninja turtle looking motherfucker, that person is not even lifting at that point to impress women. That person is uh, lifting to impress men. Okay, and not even in like a sexual way. Straight up. Uh ab implants and etching again he said no to both even in his apology touches on it is it pot i mean i guess it's possible if you're on that much juice that your ab muscles grow that big too because the kind of stuff he does is you know very core specific like he's doing mm. a lot of joe knows a fucking <laughs> joe knows a lot coming out story yeah dude <laughs> coming out as a bro <laughs> good one actually actually good one i was gonna fucking make fun of you and be like yo you're that's so insecure <laughs> actually got me okay straight up respect stuff where he's like cleaning and pressing kettlebells and walking with them over his head and all that stuff really does ignite your core and if he's doing that all the time i'd imagine it's possible that those are real abs but that was the question do you think yeah. those are real abs um yeah personally i think they're legitimate abs and the the etching thing i think is more of the controversial topic did he have some sort of like cosmetic work done to target locally the fat around the abdominal oh you know definition the oh i believe that only because i saw those emails and he is incredibly insecure like he has heavy body dysmorphia i could see that that make much of a difference though because he's very lean clearly if you look at his arms you look at his chest you look at everything like look at that image right there he's so lean I you mean, have to admit this feels like the trans investigators right yeah but we're having fun and we're not like hating on an entire group of marginalized people so that's the difference a big part of like jim royd investigations unironically revolve around people just like appreciating the game you know what i mean we're not being fucking hateful you psycho i mean how much fat would you even be talking about and how would like no matter what how many times have i fucking said to dismay to to like a lot of negative criticisms as a matter of fact i respect liver king's physique you do not get this just by just injecting steroids okay you don't get it that make the the, the thing is the topographical map of his his abs yeah. the way they pop up like mountains that's just mass yeah that's where the question of whether or not that's real or whether or not they're implants that's what i was leaning to is just like i feel like his overall body composition is pretty consistently represented i don't think he has like dis like i get that his <laughs> yeah like look at him walking there <laughs> Like, the the argument is they don't change in uh like when he sits down or anything the density of them and like the separation is so dramatic that it's got to be something yeah and you know you could never really say if it was well done like what did or didn't happen i don't think it's implants though that would be really obvious in my opinion well granted then it's like well if it's unnoticeable would you even right you know right it's like plastic surgery you only see the stuff that's not good are you guys right? able to play the apology without it being copyrighted sure. <sighs> We can play it for Come us after now, us. We'll it I don't. <laughs> I don't know what like the uh, Spotify copyright. Oh, rules are listen. Like. I think Spotify can handle this. Okay. Play the YouTube version because let's play it. Put a yeah. little bit up on. Yeah. If you put it on. Let's not forget this areas are dangerous and men who take them then say their nanny just encourage others with bodies more to go down the rabbit hole to try to attain that body. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I mentioned that point as well. I think if you take steroids, you should say so. I think that steroids should also be uh, at least like decriminalized. Steroids should be, I mean, they kind of are. Um, it should be legal. I think that there should be more medical testing on the usage of even the, the like, you know, recreational usage of steroids, I guess. On YouTube, you're more than allowed to. Here it goes. <laughs> Liver King confession. <laughs> I'm making this video. Whoa. Let's have a like terrible shit. sound. Try again. Is it a connection? That's the same as Kardashian saying they're natural when they're clearly not. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. An issue? Maybe, yeah. Would you ever take steroids? Yeah, I would. That's happened before. What is that? I don't know. I would. Right, <laughs> bring them in right a lot of people now. believed him. Including the Bell brothers, Chris and Mark Bell. I'm like, well, how, guys? You do steroids. Yeah. How do you how do you not look at that guy and go clearly? I think Mark likes to think that a lot of people like he again he doesn't want to put a is it working or a, like a a limitation on what's possible like he likes to believe that you could and again because this the problem with this too is a lot of people will extrapolate this out and then think everyone with a jacked physique.